Yeah, I'm just getting the shots of her okay. doing stuff. So our goal in using these cameras, these RUVs, or what we call them, remote underwater video systems, is to try to capture images of sharks naturally swimming by along these beaches. If we can do that, we can begin to identify individuals by their unique markings. So the cameras we're using are just kind of off-the-shelf GoPro Hero 4s. So we mount two cameras on a PVC pole pointing in opposite directions. And that enables us to see sharks maybe coming and going as they move back and forth along that coastline. So by adding more cameras to the system, we can actually monitor a greater stretch of coastline. You know, the cool thing is, is when you look at the video footage that we've shot, you, you look at these sharks and you go, oh my God, they look huge in the image. The amazing thing is, is that these are really babies. They're only about five or six feet long. It's just that the cameras, the GoPro cameras, are so wide angle and the animals get so close to the cameras while they're investigating that it makes them look enormous in the view. Today we were off Surfside, um, about 100 yards off the beach, and we we're basically trying to videotape white sharks moving up and down the coast. So we're trying to get an idea of, first, if we can identify different individuals, and then um, if we're able to do that, um, hopefully we can begin to figure out how many white sharks are in the area. So each shark is very different. They all look the same, but um, from the videos you can see up close that they have very different patterns. Some have, you know, scars or chunks taken out of their fins, for example. So I have a template that has a left and a right side of the shark and then the underside. And from the videos I can draw the sharks out and shade in different places. It's important to be able to identify these sharks because uh, we're trying to see what they're doing and where they're moving. So if you know we see them down here and then we do this GoPro drop again down in Santa Monica and we see them in Santa Monica, we can start to get an idea of what they're doing, where they're moving, you know, trying to figure out why they're making these movements. We're gonna try and get out four times a week to deploy the cameras and um, see if we see the same sharks over and over again or if we're seeing different sharks come in and out of you know the the surf zone here and we're also going to go to different beaches so we're going to try up north near Manhattan Beach um, we'll probably move down south more toward Huntington Pier maybe not quite that far but we're going to try different spots to see if we're seeing the same individuals moving up and down the coast or if they're different individuals